What's up everybody? I recently got in touch with the lovely folks at Octopus Camera wanting to order and review their Octopad camera mount, and they just sent me one. Thanks again. That's as far as my bias goes, I wasn't paid to make this review. I'm going to talk about both the strengths and weaknesses of this piece of equipment, but overall I'm very happy with it. What is an Octopad? Well despite looking like an octopus's tentacle sucker, this is not a suction cup mount. This is essentially a weighted tripod with a grippy foam bottom similar to what you might find on other audiovisual equipment, but it has a much better grip to it. This makes it great for use on flat surfaces that are sloped on an angle, since it won't slip. So I received the Octopad base, ball head, and a 3 inch metal extender. I'm happy to say that the ball head is actually very well built and won't loosen when using heavier cameras or equipment. The extender is also very solidly built, no plastic, but you can't really use the extender on a slope because you're raising your equipment's center of gravity and it can tip over. Maybe with like a GoPro or something, but not with my A6300. Just a little pro tip after using it for a couple of weeks, I found that the best way to set up your camera if you're on the move is to screw in the extender with ball head separately from the Octopad, and then screw the Octopad into that. Otherwise, it's a little awkward. You can attach the Octopad to anything that accepts a quarter inch thread. The main cell is camera use, but you can attach microphones, lights, cell phones, speakers, and video monitors. It features this little Velcro strap to keep your cables tacked down and together. So for example, you can use it for XLR cables coming into an H5, or USB cables coming into your external charger if you're doing a really long time lapse. It just keeps things neater. Speaking of time lapses, and you know I like me some time lapses, how does this stack up to other accessories that I've recommended for time lapse capturing in the past? I'm looking at you, Gorillapod. Octopus Camera openly compares the Octopad to the Gorillapod, claiming that it won't collapse. Using both mounts on a flat surface, the Octopad is definitely more reliable and won't tip over or have its base give out. Unless you have the extender on a slope like I mentioned before. Does this mean you should sell your Gorillapod and buy an Octopad? Well, not really. And the main reason for that is rails. The Gorillapod is fantastic for bending around rails and bars, surfaces that are not flat. I've done a lot of time lapses off of balconies, and this just isn't something that you can do with an octopad. This is probably my favorite time lapse I've ever taken on Mount Stanserhorn in Switzerland. Alternatively, I got some really cool shots on a roof when testing the octopad that were on a flat slope that I would not have trusted a gorilla pod on. Remember that no piece of equipment is best at everything. But to help you decide, the Octopus camera is likely a lot more affordable than a Joby Gorillapod depending on the model you were looking at. Also note that the Octopad comes with a ball head, and a lot of Joby Gorillapods require a separate purchase for a ball head. A couple of other quick points, there's this safety ring you can use to attach the Octopad to whatever it is you're shooting on, I guess so it won't fall off. I didn't really use it, but it's there and they recommend using it with one of those metal clips you might use when rock climbing. I guess you can clip it to your bag when walking around with it. Speaking of which, it weighs 1.6 pounds or 720 grams, so it isn't a huge pain to carry around with you. It also doesn't take up too much space. It is 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters in diameter. So just my closing thoughts. You get a lot of bang for your buck with the Octopad. It's very well built and can be used in many audiovisual setups. I'm definitely going to take it with me from now on when shooting time lapses, and I'm even using it right now as I speak. At the time of posting this video, the Octopad is not for sale, but I'm told it will be available to purchase in the next few weeks from sites like B&H. I'll add links in the description once it's available. 
For now, you can check out Octopus Camera on Instagram and Facebook for updates. I know I've been talking a lot about gear lately, but I have a lot more tutorials on the back burner. Thanks for watching.